Panama and the Panama Canal Authority, an autonomous state-owned entity, have proven to the world that Panamanians have the management ability, creativity, and capacity to run a critical artery in one of the world's most important commercial routes. A greater volume of cargo is transiting the waterway nowadays. Trade flow will continue to grow during the next 20 years, and it is expected that the volume of traffic through the canal will double during this period, which presents challenges and opportunities for the country. The canal faces competition with the U.S. intermodal system and the Suez Canal, among others. Aware of this, the ACP presents its proposal to double the canal's capacity by constructing a third set of locks. To formulate this proposal, more than 120 studies were conducted in various fields. The project proposes the construction of two new lock complexes, one on the Atlantic near Gatun Locks and another on the Pacific near Miraflores Locks. Expansion will not interrupt the existing canal operations. The new locks will be 427 meters long, the equivalent of three soccer fields, and 55 meters wide, the equivalent of six basketball courts. With the new lane, the canal will nearly double cargo volume capacity and expedite transit of vessels that today have to wait to transit from either entrance of the canal. The third set of locks would not need new dams or require relocating communities. In addition, the project is ecologically viable and environmentally friendly. Expansion would use proven technology in an efficient, cost-effective, and successful manner. The locks would work with fresh water by gravity, just as the canal's current locks function today. Each lock would have a water-saving basin system that would allow millions of gallons of water to be reused during each transit. The project's cost is $5.25 billion. The third set of logs project would be self-financed. The funds will come from increased tolls that the canal charges for its services. To cover peak periods of construction, there might be a need for temporary external financing, which would be paid back from toll revenue. The Panamanian government would neither guarantee nor endorse the financing of the project. The initial economic impact of the project would occur between 2007 and 2014. During this period, 40,000 direct and indirect jobs would be created. Panama is an efficient administrator of this marvelous feat of engineering and a reliable partner in world trade.